Hi Cancer and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive. Let's jump in and do a read for the month of December. We're going to take a look and break it down on uh, where you're at and what the universe wants you to know and what's going to be most important that wants to bubble up to the surface that can affect your love life, that can affect uh, your work or just you know life overall. So let's take a look. Do check out your moon rising and your Venus signs uh, reads as well because that might help fill in the gaps of whatever's brought you to my channel. Okay. If you're looking for just love and then you'll find that in my bi-weekly reads uh, and then uh, if you're interested in career money and finance you'll see that at the end of this video uh, that lasts up until the end of this year that you could check that out okay all right let's take a look what's going on for cancer what is going on for cancer okay uh, let's take a look I get the word empathy why do I get empathy that's about seeing something from another person's uh, point of view, uh, so to speak, right? Or, you know, kind of putting the shoes on of what the other person is wearing and what they're going through. So having empathy, okay? Let's take this out, okay? Oh, how interesting. What do we have here? We have got the Knight of Cups and then we've got the Ten of Swords. Wow. Now, this could even be you. Now, this is about... Uh, I don't know. There's this is a, a Knight of Cups. This is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So I feel that someone's coming towards you, or you're going towards someone. Uh, maybe that has gone through something, right? It's kind of like uh, the Tennis of Wands here is some sort of ending. Someone seeing oneself, you know, kind of coming to end, getting rid of the burdens. So maybe someone's coming towards you and expressing some of the burdens that they have seen them that they have gone through, right? And because they have seen themselves now what they've gone through. Now, that's one way to look at this. Another way is that if this is just you taking on this full energy cancer, I feel that uh, that you are want to express love uh, and um, you are being able to move forward and express that towards someone, motioning, going towards someone about love and letting them know that you yourself have gone through some, uh, you're, you've had to let go of the burdens, right? And you, you see that, uh, that, that you are putting a death to something that no longer serves you. So maybe that's how empathy is coming into play here, guys. Um, you know, because I feel that uh, this is like an eclipse of the sun. There's that moon. And we're, we have this new, this uh, eclipse of the new moon that's happening on December 4th uh, that might reverberate throughout the whole, you know, uh, beginning of December there. But this is saying is that it's like putting an end to something because you see yourself doing it, right? And it's not going to be hidden anymore, right? It's like the sun was shining on that and the moon is trying to hide it, but it's still being seen. So you're seeing something either within you and then you're motioning for and expressing that to someone or someone's doing that to you, okay? It's it's so interesting. And and like I said, maybe that's where that empathy is coming into play. Uh, you know, expend, uh, you know, having empathy for yourself or, or empathy towards another, all right? Uh, anything else that wants to come out here? What is What wants to come out for you here? Let's take a look. Yeah, there's a time out that's necessary. So maybe you're just, you're, you're taking a moment, you know, from this, okay? Especially if you're experiencing this, there's a time out that's necessary to connect with source and get your confidence back a little bit more and get grounded in your confidence. For some of you, that very much well could be the case, all right? Um, it's a 37 card reducing to a 10, which is an ending and a brand new beginning. So note your comments below, guys, and definitely smash that like button if this resonates with you. This is what I see coming through. There's motion you forward of an expression of something that, you know, you've gone through and you're sharing it with someone or someone's doing that uh, for you here. Okay. And so there's some sort of time out that's necessary because it's like the dust still needs to clear. Okay. The dust is still a little bit foggy, right? It's a little bit, you know, that's what I feel. I'm going to pull a uh, wellness card for you and the current uh, position for you. Anything that might want to help you in, in terms of where you're at right now. Oh, creating a new reality. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You are now able to pen down a new way of being, a new chapter in your life, right, guys? Uh, and that is what this eclipse is all about, to tell you the truth. Uh, that is about that, okay? So, um, yeah, I mean, this is about transformative energy. Um, anytime you enter into a solar eclipse, especially with that new moon uh, within December, um, this is saying that uh, trusting the process, rising to the occasion, 
to start a new chapter in your life. And it's about penning that down. Your life, Cancer, by your design. So pick up that pen, start writing down what it is that you want. You know, take that time out that's necessary because you've got an ending with a brand new beginning. And uh, be that, uh, be that uh, you know, uh, that, that writer of the novel of your life, all right? And uh, you'll leave that legacy. Uh, you've got a lot of potential. You've got some sort of freedom, a lifestyle. You've, you've had, gone through some amazing experiences and it's something that you could share with others, right? So you're creating your own reality, your own freedom the way you want uh, in your life, the lifestyle that you desire. This is what's coming through for you, okay? Note your comments below, guys. And definitely smash that like button. Let's take a look at what you need to uh, concentrate on, okay? What you need to focus in on in the month of December uh, that's going to help you get to this here. It's going to really... Uh, uh, create the best uh, month that you, uh, you, that you can get for, the, for December here. What do we have? What do we have? We have got the King of Cups. Wow. This is uh, being in charge of your own emotions here, right? Looking at your throne, balancing your emotions, being in authority of your emotions, which again would be over the ocean for you. So really, uh, you know, exploring that, okay? Really exploring that, and it, it really is a. It's like he's not focused on himself; he's focused on everyone else that's kind of around them. So it's kind of like, um, you know, feel what others are feeling, and again, you know, really expressing empathy uh, uh, to over others. And it keeps us when we do that. It keeps us from getting self-absorbed when we focus on empathy of others. It really does when you're able to see that other side. Uh, so this is what it wants you to focus in on. Okay, I'm going to pull another card. I'm going to see what else wants to come through for you. This will be in the position of what it is you need to focus in on. Okay, what do we get? Hmm, interesting. We get the Seven of Wands. This is about having faith. That even though that there's sometimes we might, uh, you know, go through situations that might be a little darker than normal. You know, he's kind of overlooking some sort of havoc that is... Uh, uh, on earth here and he's looking down at that um and this is saying is that we have both the difficult times that we go through and then we've got the beautiful times where we're at large and in charge right they were on top of the world but life is about both right so it's about not being always in this but having empathy for others who have you know the the, the difficult times that others may go through or that you may go through and uh, being able to balance that out a little bit, okay? Not not just focus on this, but focus on both. And I know that you're doing that, but for some reason that it, for some of you guys, it's just coming out in the read here that, uh, that that's very, very key. So uh, it's uh, getting out of just the focus on you, but focusing also uh, on um, uh, others as well. But let me take a look on, on the uh, way that others... Um, uh, just feeling the way others could feel their point of view for some reason it's it's coming on the play to to understand their point of view okay let's take a look anything else from the wellness cards what do we get here being mindful okay awareness of thoughts without judgment okay so that's what this talks about so some of you might be meditating uh practicing mindfulness all right uh and uh, just about being present for someone else or, you know, or being in grace. All right. Very, very key. Anything else? Love where you are. Appreciate your current circumstances, whatever, where you're at right now, this is saying love where you are and find any sort of uh, gratitude and gracefulness in terms of where you're at right now. Okay. Uh, and uh, beauty, find the beauty in where you're at right now to appreciate your current circumstances. That is what is coming through. Okay. Uh, anything from the numerology cards that want to share of what you need to focus on. So be mindful, love where you are, uh, balance your emotions uh, and know that life is about good and the bad, our good times and our tough times going through both. I'm going to pull a, a card on this to see if there's anything that wants to come through. Right? Yeah. And don't forget to follow your dreams. This is what's coming in what you need to focus in on. Follow your dreams, guys. It's coming through and it couldn't be even uh, more powerful. 
All right. So let's see what's springboarding you into the month of December. What uh, what card wants to come through that is uh, the energy that's springboarding you in to uh, December here? What wants to come through here? What do we have? Ooh, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So this is about legacy, building wealth, you know, coming into that family money, perhaps inheritance. Some of you might be going through retirement. Uh, some of you could be, uh, you know, seeking uh, advice. Uh, maybe you're uh, married or with a partner experiencing some, getting some sort of advice. Sorry for the sirens, guys. Hold on one second. Okay, guys, sorry about that. So it's even more important to follow your dreams. And guess what? The siren was kind of going on here. But also in your recent past to focus how important it is to focus on your stability, your wealth, and your legacy. Uh, so this is coming through. Uh, some of you could be in a really good position. Some of you are seeking advice from an elder. Uh, you know, it could be that. Uh, but the Ten of Pentacles is you know, really all about uh, wealth and establishment. So focusing in on wealth and establishment. Uh, anything else? Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, yeah, this is a, 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 a kind of a, a, a dawning of a, a new era. There's two, you know, he's kind of has two wands by him. And this is all about making progress and discovery. So you're discovering something about wealth and security, okay? In order to, and then and focused on creating, uh, you know, a new way of being and doing in life. So you're springboarding into um, you know, the creativity on uh, what you can do to discover uh, that can bring in more wealth, security, and prosperity. What is in your strength position for cancer? Your strength position for cancer, the month of December, what do we have? What do we have? Wow. Okay. So we've got the uh, queen of, of, of swords. This is the queen of swords. You've actually seen the back of her, which is this beautiful uh, icicle of a rose. That's more, it's kind of like a, it's blooming, right? Like a lotus flower, almost like. And this talks about uh, an opportunity to, you know, she's very quick thinking. She's very perceptive and, uh, and um, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So it's, it's beautiful energy and it's just about an opportunity. It's a, uh, it's about, um, you know, with the queen, it's being in authority over one's intellect. So it's beautiful. I mean, it's just beautiful energy. I mean, what can I, what can you say here? I'm gonna pull another card on this. What goes with this? Um, tell me a little bit about this. Clear thinking, being perceptive, quick thinking. That's your strength. Oh, no wonder. Something unexpected came down the tower. Something came down, Cancer, and then you had to be very quick thinking and very, uh, you know, you had to handle it really quick, okay? You got this backside, it's kind of like your domain. Something was coming down, right? And uh, it was unexpected and unavoidable, and you had to be super quick thinking, okay? Wow, it's in your strength position, Cancer. So that's what's coming through here, but that tower energy came through is unavoidable. Mars, a force of something came through. Uh, I'm going to pull another card on this because I'm curious. Uh, give me a little bit more in terms of the situation. You just had to go right into action. And there's no better person like the Queen of Swords to come on in and to take on that energy. Some of you might even have air in your chart as well. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. What else? Wow. And then I get the Empress energy. There's you. Okay. Wow. This, you had to act like this to get to this point and to uh, folk, your creativity, whatever came down, you were quick thinking, you were uh, very, being very, uh, uh, you know, perceptive. What do I need to do to create my domain that it puts me in this position? And there you are. So I feel that you've taken on this Empress energy and this is in your strength position. You're quick. You know how to handle something in order to, especially in creativity and beauty. Like you can create something, whatever, that's going to put you right back in, in charge. And it's like your connection with Source. I mean, it's so beautiful, guys. Wow. Note your comments below, guys. Okay. Let me know how that resonates with you and definitely smash that like button. All right. Let's take a look at what numerology has to say. Self-discipline. So that, del that that queen of swords allowed you to think quickly and self-discipline yourself to put you in the position of the empress energy, which is in your strength position. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so beautiful. My God, especially in times of an obstacle, which is a five card, reduces to a five. You operated self-discipline, uh, you know, in, in matters of the heart, right? And uh, the emotions of the body. And you, you, you kind of transformed and transmuted that energy and that obstacle to create the life that you want, right? And remember that we got what you need to focus in on is to love where you're at 
And um, it wanted you to pin down creating your reality, right? Once you create your reality. There you are. That's what you did in your strength position. What's in your near future, Cancer? What's in your near future? What do we see for you in the near future? What do we got? Letting go of the burdens. Okay, so we've got the Ten of Wands. All right. So letting go of uh, the burdens. What else do we have here? And, uh, ooh, what do we have here? Okay, so then we've got the Hierophant card, Taurus Energy. So it's about letting go of the burdens and working from the inside out, right? So you're letting go of the burdens, the Ten of Wands, right? And then we've got you kind of shining the light within, within the light of the moon, right? And uh, this is beautiful energy. You're able to balance your light and your dark side of yourself. And, and create a magical gift like the egg, right? The egg that he's earned and he's gone within. He's been through a hell of a, a tower moment, right? Uh, he's all twisted. His, his garment is all kind of ripped, but he's earned his position. He's earned his position and the birds flock to them. And he's got some sort of knowledge and knowledge of the moon as well is coming through here. So uh, letting go of the burden. So moving forward in the near future, it's moving forward um, and you're kind of seeing what is hidden because there's a face to the moon. There's a face to that, right? So it's kind of like the moon speaks to him and there is working with the phases of, uh, you know, and overcoming obstacles of the mountains behind him to earn that golden egg to balance out. You've got a white and a, and a red dog and that really represents... Uh, you know, the, the light and the dark side, your passion and uh, being honest with oneself and, you know, the ego and, and, and uh, um, the light and the dark is really what I feel. Wow. Beautiful. I'm going to pull a wellness card on this uh, in your future for you. Anything else? Trust the process. Everything always works out. Even if there's a roadblock, guys, even if, even if we get a tower moment, okay? Because sometimes it's for our greatest good, our greatest good. It helps clear that new path, right? Trust the process. Remember, love where you are. We got that love where you are. So keep it moving, right? And create the life by your design, okay? It's say, telling you that, that when you let go of these burdens here, that you, know, that you go within, is that uh, something better is on its way. It wants you to have total confidence, Something better is coming your way. This is so beautiful. <gasps> beautiful. Okay, so what is it that you uh, need to, uh, what is the best way forward at this point in the month of December for cancer? What is the best way forward for cancer? What do we got? What do we got here? What is this? Ooh, hair font energy. Some of you could be spiritual teachers. You're either teaching others or you're others or you're learning from someone. Okay. Uh, it could be the case. You could be the student or you can be uh, the actual uh, spiritual uh, teacher here. This is someone who brings peace to others to create a better life. Okay. This person helps overcome, helps others overcome questions about their traditions, their beliefs, life size, way of living, obstacles and challenges. Right. So it's about, you know, questioning uh, best way forward is to continue to be on that path of peace and enlightenment. Uh, it's, his keys are at his foot of the Hierophant energy. So having the keys to be able to bring peace to the world. Some of you already do that. Note your comments below, guys. Beautiful energy. Oh, I'm so excited. This is so beautiful. Anything from numerology on best way forward for cancer in December 2021? What do we got? Healing. You heal others. You bring some sort of healing. This is in some sort of form of communication. So some of you have an ability in terms of your communications to communicate healing to others. Okay. It's a 66 card that reduces to 12. 12 reduces to threes. Threes are about communication. They're also about creativity too. Uh, and uh, that's about you know being creative in terms of your communication. Okay. But the blue is the throat chakra, all forms of communication. So that is your best way forward. Now you may already know that that might be confirmation for some of you. So note your comments below. All right, guys, uh, anything else? What do we have? Inner peace. Yeah, you help others clear, you know, past uh, ancestral trauma of any sort. Uh, you help them, you know, kind of create that warrior pose, be a warrior of the world, right? Uh, he's in that warrior pose in yoga. 
and uh, that kind of it's like you the hair found energy is like being a warrior of the world it's it's a uh, you know um, it's practices spiritual practices so what do we have what are your hopes cancer in the month of December what do we have what do we have Knight of Wands, you've got someone that might be interested in coming towards you, okay? Someone who's very passionate towards you. He's got a lot of love for you for sure, okay? A lot of passion towards you, okay? So just note that uh, um, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, uh, it could be you moving passionately toward your dreams or someone moving towards you, okay? Uh, towards you in passion. What else do we get? Uh, we have got the Nine of Cups. Whatever it is, it's gonna keep. it's going to make you fly high. You are going to feel so satisfied. Uh, you, look at this. She's holding a cornucopia in the sky. She's got the riches of the universe and the harvest of the universe working with her. And she's satisfied. She's got someone that has got an admirer that's coming around. Or she, if you're, she, if you're just taking on this energy ca um, cancer, this is you moving passionately and harvesting your dreams of being in complete, satisfactory, um, you know, in terms of your emotions. You've got nine cups there, okay? Very satisfied. The 10 is complete alignment, all right? But this is your harvest. You're cashing in on your harvest right now. Wow. This could be something that you're looking for the harvest of, of a person, place, or thing coming through as well. Um, uh, any uh, any advice in terms of uh, this? Who is this? A Knight of Swords? A Knight of Wands here? A Knight of Wands? What do we have? Support. Maybe, this, maybe there's someone around you that's going to offer support for you, okay? Uh, but it's saying call in support if you need it, okay, towards your passion and your dreams. Uh, maybe there's someone that you might be working together with as well. The Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Not giving up, persevering on your dreams. Overall outcome for cancer, what do we've got? Overall outcome for cancer, what do we got? Wow. You are not going to allow any sort of deception to round you. And what do we get? Oh, my gosh. No more deception. Two people coming together. This could be you coming together in partnership with someone. This could be you coming in a romantic or um, a non-romantic partnership, whatever the case may be. But it's emotion. Two people agreeing. Uh, two people um, agreeing that you know that loving that love uh, needs to be recirculated in the world, right? And it all starts with us, right? So it does start with uh, us. You can kind of see that here. She's got there's a fountain of a woman there. And the fountain just feeds and feeds water, which is all emotion. So it's feeding oneself. And this could be no longer deception. Maybe there was a situation, there was deception previously that was hidden. But now it's brought to light. Two people coming together in the day, in the light, seen eye to eye. And honestly, in truthfulness. They're wearing white, which is about transparency. So being transparent with each other. That's key, okay? I think some of you might have a romantic partner coming in Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. It could be water sign or it could be a fire sign, or they might just take on that energy. Um, that's what's coming through here. But uh, but having faith that there is no deception of any sort in a relationship. Oh, you guys, you could be coming together with someone, or you could just be very happy in terms of your situation. Uh, and you're, you're coming together, uh, your masculine and your feminine side coming together to love yourself. Wow. Oh, beautiful energy, guys. I am sending you lots of love in the month of December, guys, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Uh, note your comments, smash that like button, and until next time, namaste.